Hey everyone, this is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. A couple weeks ago I made a video uh, showcasing some of the real world tests and uh, scenarios that uh, you could use this in. And uh, I'll leave a link down in the description and uh, one up here in the top right corner uh, to that uh, initial testing video. Due to popular request, uh, I have fine-tuned and added uh, a few additional tests that uh, were not showcased on that video. Uh, that I'm going to do today. I've developed a point system that uh, helps us know how good certain uh, units are for powering various household needs. So uh, today I'm doing the remaining test that I didn't do in the first video on this unit. And uh, like I said, go check out that uh, first video uh, to see the other tests. And uh, here at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you how this ranks on my uh, new uh, system uh, of ranking these power stations. So be sure and stick around for that. Okay, we're going to test uh, can this uh, run a, uh, a hot plate so you can uh, cook and uh, what have you during a power outage. Uh, you can take a look and see that we're plugged into the back of the power station. So let's fire it up here. Watch the light. There we go. And uh, you can see we're pulling 1,460-ish watts. The unit is running it no problem. The, the fans on the EcoFlow unit haven't even started to uh, run yet. So uh, it's certainly capable of uh, running this. Next test for the Delta II Max. The one, the only, garage microwave. <laughs> I actually don't use a microwave in my house. I just have this uh, out here in the garage for testing purposes uh, for you guys. So anyway, um, we've got uh, the cord from the microwave right here going into my all-time favorite extension cord, 10 gauge extension cord. And, uh, and then that in turn is uh, plugged into the Delta II Max. So let's uh, start this. Fired right up. And let's see uh, what we're pulling here. So 16, almost 1700 watts actually of power. So quite a bit. Welcome to my very crowded and very full furnace closet. There's the furnace. I've taken off the cover so that we can see inside and, uh, and watch this start up. Uh, but uh, the test we want to do today is can the EcoFlow Delta II Max run a gas powered furnace and uh, if so uh, what's the approximate uh, run time. Uh, furnaces are different uh, and different sizes and what have you so uh, this is again just a test on my furnace. Now the secret sauce to making this work is this magic little box right here. Uh, this box lets us as you can see plug directly in any kind of power source, whether it be a power station, battery power station like this, gas generator, uh, whatever. And uh, you're able to switch it over safely to generator mode there. That allows you to safely run your furnace when the power goes out. And then when the power comes back on, you just flip the switch down to normal and uh, you're good to go. It also acts as a service disconnect uh, there with an off position. So if you live in a cold area, you definitely want to get one of these because it's worth its weight in gold uh, to be able to run your furnace when the power goes off. So we've got uh, the uh, EcoFlow Delta II Max plugged in right here. You can see the cord comes down, goes through the big coil there, and it comes up and plugs into uh, the outlet right here. So uh, let's uh, fire this up. Okay, the induced draft is starting. It's pulling. Uh, I missed it because uh, now the hot surface igniter is coming. Jesus, some electricity. You can see 120 or so watts at the moment. You can see what the induced draft is pulling, about 68, 67 watts. Let's see what uh, happens when the blower comes on. Yeah, okay, I don't know if you can hear, but the uh, fan is now up to speed. Let's 
check it out. So just over 450 watts. So this is estimating uh, four hours. Actually, if you do the math, if this is at 100% state of charge, uh, you'd probably get just over four hours runtime for the furnace. Now, in reality, you'll get a longer duration of uh, comfort in your home because most furnaces don't run four hours non-stop, right? So it'll heat the house up, get to the point, turn off, at uh, which point uh, it's not pulling hardly anything, and then cycle back on. So anyway, yes, this power station can run the furnace, no sweat. That completes the uh, second round of testing on this unit. And uh, I'm just gonna put up here on the screen uh, how it ranks. Now this also includes uh, the other tests I did on my previous video. So be sure and go uh, check that out. That is down in the description. This is how it all uh, ranks on the various tests. As you can see, it, uh, it did pretty darn well. This uh, by far is one of my uh, favorite uh, power stations. Uh, it's just so capable and does so many things yet is still relatively portable. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure and uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe so you don't miss uh, the future videos coming up.